To the mountain located to the east of the Satillo Valley, the voice of the people had given it several names. The four, the dead, or the sleeping. However, the ancients originally knew and identified it as Sapalaname, in honor of the leader of the regional tribe of the Guachichiles, who gave battle to the founders of the Villa de Santiago at the end of the 16th century. Spanish colonization in these regions was never easy, and even historians say that Satillo was sometimes abandoned because of the resistance that the Guachichiles put up was so bold and reckless. Macuisaco, Macuimachichihuac, Silivan, and finally Zapalaname, rather than bow down to the conqueror, they prepared to fight, or at least maintain freedom rather than surrender. The uprisings of the Guachichiles were periodic, since the Spanish, in addition to appropriating their lands, used to take them as slaves. In addition, the inhabitants of the Hispanic town seized the water whose springs made the flora of the fauna valley fertile, and that by altering the surrounding ecology was too detriment of their own, because as good as concierge of the environment, they knew that from now on, the hunting would withdraw, making life more difficult for the Guachichiles in the valley. Seeing all that, reflecting that it was impossible for him to finish off the intruders, the chieftain one day organized his own, and at night, they quietly left the town, going back to the nearest mountain ranges, preferring to live free the rest of their lives in the wild mountains of eastern Saltillo. Legend has it that a few years later, the Cadillo died on top of them, and that his own people stretched him out with his face to the sun, as was his attitude in the face of adversity. And then a particular and fantastic phenomenon happened. Seeing the elements of the gallantry and pride that the Indians showed in life, in his honor, they enlarged his figure, giving the mountain its shape, covering it with rocks in such a way that his head was a plume, his broad chest, his feet, his right arm, and his entire body stretched out, remaining as stone forever and ever until the consumption of time.